See, I'm not nervous to tell this story, but it's just such an odd memory to have to recall. Oh, the things I do for views. Hey guys, what's up? What's up? What's up? Up, up, freaking up. Today, I'm gonna be hitting you guys with a story time. If I look the same as my last video, then that's because I'm recording this right after, so don't come for me. Anyways, today I'm gonna be doing a story time about the very first time I got caught in the house with a boy. Let's just jump into it. Either this was the second half of my sophomore year or the first half of my junior year. I didn't mean here. It was actually in between those two times in the summer. I don't remember exactly. I tried as hard as I can to forget most of these events. So it's gonna be a little difficult. So basically I was dating this guy at the time. To give you a little background, we met at the library. The library is gonna be a reoccurring place in my more important stories. From the time that I was in fifth grade to my senior year, the library is a very, very important place. It holds a dear spot in my heart and I hate it and love it it at the same time mainly because after school I didn't have anything to do from those periods of my life I had always been going to the library after school because my mom had not gotten off until like 4 30 and I'd always get out of school at like 2 30 ish so the library was just my home from point A to point B and somehow I just seemed to make all the bad decisions when at the library and by that I mean I just decide to make all the wrong delinquent ass friends and one of those people was my boyfriend so oh god we had been friends through some other guy that i had known fast forward we started dating it doesn't even matter how it happened mainly because i don't remember how it happened so during the summers the summers of my high school experience were never good because i always found a way to get in trouble somehow either sneaking out sneaking people in or i don't even know what i was doing right kitty Kitty doesn't even know what I was doing. I was literally so all over the place. It's not even funny, oh my God. I don't know what was wrong with me, girl, what? So at this time we were dating, I think it was probably July or June. You know what, we're gonna call him Kyle. Kyle. So I decided I was finally gonna invite Kyle over because he had been bothering me for the longest time about coming over. He hadn't seen me in so long because it was the summer, you know the f um especially because my my mother was not she was not it she was not the one to play games with and i knew that for a long time but that day i didn't care i was feeling a little rebellious and i was in the mood of i miss my boyfriend bad idea sweetheart basically i knew that i had between the times i literally had a <laughs> i literally had a whole system i knew that i had from between the times of 8 a.m to about to about five to have some went in and out of my house and this was my like my forever system mom i'm so sorry we're not the i'm just gonna have company over kind of family like it was just me and my mom i never ever ever had company so that's kind of where sneaking people in came to play hmm, more stories coming soon oh my gosh so basically he came over it was probably like 10 or 11 o'clock he came over we we're hanging out we didn't really do much yo he was ugly. <laughs> he was ugly is the thing like that's the thing that keeps getting me like first of all how you gonna sneak an ugly in your house i'm really hiking on myself i had a playstation i'm pretty sure i had just got my playstation and we we're just playing my game you know chilling relaxing you know living lavish and fast forward you know time flies and next thing you know it is like 4 30 and i'm like yo you gotta go like it's it's about that time to start leaving and he's like you know the usual oh i don't want to go yet like i wish i could stay and i'm like yeah i wish you could stay and then we just got caught up kissing. We actually weren't doing anything at that point. I knew well enough. Don't start f***ing at 4.30. Like, 
I was a really bad child, yo. Anyways, we got caught up like kissing and stuff. I was sitting here like in the moment. And then I was like, all right, like for real, you really gotta go. And he was about to leave. Had his shoes on and everything. And then I hear the door open. Now, mind you, my house isn't like two story. It's not like, it's none of that. It's a one story house. We are on the third floor, no less. My room is in the very back, but my mom's, like I have to go through my mom's room to get anywhere in my house. And given that I had my door open already, I heard the door open. And it's not like it's a quiet door. It's a loud door. So I heard that bitch open and my heart sank to my ass. I was like, I don't even know what to do. Like, I don't, I'm sitting here like shaking and sh And I told him to get in the closet. I don't know how you gonna leave, but we gonna figure this shit out, my G, because I ain't getting caught up today. I'm not doing it. But in the back of my mind, I knew. I knew something that was gonna go wrong. Like, I just knew it. So I did my usual. I went to the door, well, into the kitchen to greet my mom, you know, as she's coming in the door. I'm sitting here like literally kind of shaking, but trying to act like nothing's wrong. And at this time, my mom has zero trust in me. Like, <laughs> I mean, zero trust in me at all. Like every day she came home, she basically expected there, there to be a problem. Cause it was that bad. Wow, I'm a horrible child. I'm so sorry, mom. I really put her through some stress. Oof. She was, I was like, hey mom, you know, how's your day? She was like, it's all right, I just came home early. I'm like, oh, you got off early? And she was like, yeah, I just I thought I needed to come home early for some reason. And I was like, oh, shit, I already know what's about to happen. She was like, there better not be anybody in my house. And I'm like, what? No, of course not. She was like, I don't know. And she starts walking through the house, right? So she walks into her room, look around, and then she goes into my room. And my heart already dropped when she passed my body and went into my room. And I didn't think she was gonna make that turn because my room is an L shape. My mom goes in my room and she's like, are you sure there's nobody in here? Like, are you serious? Are you sure there's nobody in here at all? And I'm like, yes, I'm, I'm so sure. Like there's literally no one here. And she wasn't going towards my closet yet and she almost left my room and then she just stopped and turned around and walked right to my closet it was no noise at all now i'm in my head i'm hoping that he's like backed up like in the hangers or something so i'm still in the clear no <laughs> he's just standing there in the back so my mom walked up to the closet and she looks inside i could only imagine what his face looked like but i just know they made eye contact and then she looked at me and then she looked back at him and then she looked at me. And then she told him to come out. She was like, you might as well come out now. Ain't no need in hiding. So he comes out the closet. And this woman acting friendly. She had me all types of confused, hurt, everything. Cause I didn't know what was going on at this point. Because my mom is that kind of person that's extremely bipolar. Like she can change her mood like that. But she start talking to this man. She's like, so what's your name? As she's like walking him out of my room. He was like, my name is Kyle. She was like, oh, how old are you? He was like, I'm, I don't even remember how old he said he was but i know he lied like he lied to my mom and he lied to me because he told me that he was i think he was like 18 i think he told my mom that he was 17. mom dukes looked it up looked him up in the system and she's still talking to him. She was like, are you sure that you're 17? And he was like, yeah, I'm sure. As he's like standing at the steps, she's about to walk him downstairs and they just start walking downstairs. And I'm just standing there like, I really just got caught with a in my closet. Like I'm, I'm literally about to die. When she come back up these stairs, I'm about to die. So I'm just standing here thinking about life. I can hear them going down the stairs and they're all the way at the bottom. You know, I, I heard them like saying goodbye and like, I'm like, why do you sound nice? Cause you know, you really about to come up here and tear my ass up. So she comes back upstairs and she just starts going off. Like I've gotten my ass beat so many times that I can't even remember a specific story at beaten like the memory has like been erased because it's happened so many times she whooped my ass. the next day when my mom goes to work she goes to look him up in the system right young bull lied about his age he was 20 years old wow so yeah he was 20 years old still going to the local high school yes 20 years old and he was still going to the local freaking high school and no hate for people that stay back like i'm not trying to like throw no shade but the thing is he was only one grade above me so he was a junior 20 years old and then on top of him lying about his age young boy had felonies armed robbery like attempted this like theft like 
I ain't no ride or die no more. Um, I don't know who you think you're f***ing with, but I'm not the one, hunty. I learned my lesson. But yeah, that was the story of the first time I got caught in the house with a boy. I have a million, I like, I, I'm not even joking. I have a million other stories like this. I have the stories of when I snuck out to see a boy and got caught when I came home. I have the first time of me sneaking out. <laughs> There's so many stories, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Like comment and subscribe and share this video with everybody you know especially people that i don't even know just share it with everybody i don't even know who to recommend to send this send 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 but you should send it to everybody because don't play with your mama period don't play with her because they be having that intuition moral of the story don't sneak anyone into your house listen to your parents as long as they have good intentions yeah that's it like comment and subscribe i love you guys bye